Variation number two, exit B. We have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick and quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Now I'd like to go over with you the man's foot positions. We start off forward left. Side right, back left, back right, back left, back right, back left, back right, back left, back right, side left, right foot closes to left foot, forward right and pivot, back right, back left, back right, back left, back right, back left, and check. And now for your timing. We have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick and quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And now we'll have Heather show us the ladies' part. Now the ladies' foot positions for this group. We start off back on our right foot into a heel turn. So we have back on the right, left foot closes to right foot. Now from here we have right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot forward. Right foot forward again, left foot forward, right foot forward, outside partner. From here we step left foot forward and we're going to produce a curve around the man. So I want the steps to turn slightly forward left, forward right forward left now the right, right foot's going to have a pivot at this stage pivot left foot forward right foot forward left foot forward right foot forward left foot forward preparing to step outside partner right foot forward outside partner and now the timing we have back on our right foot and it will be Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick and quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And now Victor will join me and we will try some technique on this figure. So as you can see, since this is exit B, we have already covered the reverse turn and initial wave. So we'll just show you that one more time. So you have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So this is where exit B begins. So from here, gentlemen, as you lower through your right leg and hip again, you're dissolving the shape from the right down to the beginning of the shape to the left. My left shoulder and hip start to connect down. Slow, my right leg and hip swing out ahead of me, keeping my poise forward as I step back on my left foot. Now from here, going into the tipsy chasse to the left, I curve off the lady's track. Now from this position, again, I want to think of a curved line. The lady's on the outside of the turn. As I rotate through my left leg and hip, I'm curving off the line, using my body and head weight to encourage the lady to rotate around me. So we'll do that. So we have slow, quick, and quick pivot. Now from here, we just continue with the wave again. We rotate through the left leg and hip, changing the angle to the slow. My right shoulder and hip connect down. We continue, the left leg swings out ahead, poise forward, quick, quick. Now from here, I rotate through my right leg and hip, dissolving the shape, letting my right leg and hip swing out ahead, and we have our checking action. And now the ladies' action from here. So like Victor said, we have just completed our first wave, and we're going from the outside partner into the tipsy. So we have from here, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Now from here, I'm going to continue using 
my left leg, which is my standing leg, and as I use it, whichever leg I am using to dance forward and whichever hip I'm rotating, that side of the body is starting to stretch. So we have slow, quick, quick. Now, if you notice, ladies, here I've produced a stretch and a curve through the body, taking care not to push the stomach muscles on the man. From this position, what I'm going to do is maintain the shape all the way through the next uh, few foot positions into the tipple. So we have slow, quick and quick. It will not change. And now as I use my standing leg again, like I've just mentioned, when I start to rotate, that side of the body is going to start to change and act like a pulley. The legs will dance out ahead of the body. The head will stay back against the spine. Slow, quick, quick. And now from here, I'm going to use my left knee, thigh and hip and as I rotate that side of the body is going to start to lengthen as I go into my outside partner position. So it's very very important that on a reverse wave the leg speed is a lot faster than the upper body, the shoulders stay draped on top of the hips and the stomach stays connected back and pulled in against the spine. And I would like to demonstrate that to music for you.